Hey guys, today's video is going to be a fixes video for the Advanced Locomotion version 3 and Survival Game Kit version 2 uh, merge. I had a few problems yesterday with the uh, animation blueprint. Couldn't figure out what it was. And uh, somebody left a comment and they noticed that the interface events were, uh, were um, having an issue because the way I did it in the, in the second part video is I moved these over, and then I realized that I was missing the interface events, and then I added this. What I should have done is added the interface events and then pasted this in. So a simple fix for that would basically be go to your survival game kit, animations, third person animation blueprint, select your interface events, and just delete it. Compile that. We don't need to. That doesn't matter. And uh, Select this out of the, your advanced locomotion, um, character, mannequin, 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 and a BP. Select this, control C, control V. And when you do that, you'll notice that your interface events, when you go into them, don't have a one after them anymore. So now, whenever it's checking for them, it's actually, it's actually being read properly. And once you do that, you should have rotation still needs. I guess not. But uh, once you have that, you should have basically the same outcome. Only problem would be first person rotation, setting some limits and stuff, setting the camera positions. Should be able to equip stuff and should play the proper animations. Uh, I know some people are, are messaging and saying that their hands were a little bit messed up. Um, I'm not honestly not quite sure what happened there because I don't have that issue myself. I've been, try I've been trying to replicate it by throwing in different scenarios like dropping a weapon, just holding it. And also holding it from the inventory. I thought this was a bug at first, but it's not. So the fuse said you can actually do that, I guess. I personally think it's a little bit odd, I guess. Yes, it makes it so you can equip it. From, yeah, there's not really anything that I can see wrong with it, other than some the camera issue where it's not rotating. The first person it's fine, except for the legs, but like when you aim, rotate till it's 90. So, uh, a quick fix for that be uh, I need to look into, I think, blending the upper body aim off. Aim offsets so that the upper body rotates and the lower body doesn't unless the uh, just trying to find it. So let's click through them all. So I see the one I'm looking for. Same with fun. Okay. I don't know where it is. I don't know what I'm looking for now. Here we go. You want to go to your event graph? Edge character rotation grounded. So I'll test out a couple things temporarily. You can temporarily have it training with character. Let's 
Senhor. I think I'm going to look into this one a little more. So that has two different kinds of rotations in there. And they could be interfering with each other somewhere. It be a camera setting. I know I fixed this one before. It's bugging me now because I've fixed this so many times before. And it's just I haven't fixed it in a while now because I haven't, been deal I haven't really been dealing with this. So it's something I'll have to run into, I suppose. I thought that there was something else I had to do for the rotation, though. I'm surprised that that's working. I remember there was a few other little things. Either way, um, that's the fix. That's the fix for that. Um, R33 dude on YouTube is the one who left the comment. I posted a uh, picture of my Discord his comment. So thanks for that. Appreciate it. Saved me and I'm sure everyone else is appreciative of it as well. So if you like the video, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And um, as I fix up some, some more things, I'll continue to upload little clips like this. Like when I get I'm look into the rotation and setting it up nicely. I know you could just remove the first person body because honestly it's not the best method to do that. If you want a third if you want a, a full body view in first person you're better off uh using third person full single third person mesh maybe. If you want to be able to really see your legs and but you'd also want an animator or have the knowledge to properly um, put things into their proper places like uh, in the animation blueprint you'll want the the uh, camera attachment and the head to be in specific spots during certain animations because for example ALS's locomotion is very very there's a lot of bounce in the head and that's a problem because it causes players to get nauseous so base, I'll, I might do a little clip on multiplayer system version 2, honestly. When I get some free time, because it la it's actually not that difficult to implement a, s a single third person mesh and have it working fully. It's mainly just moving the code over from multiplayer system and removing the, si the using their animations, because they're set up for first person and their camera sets them, and removing the first person camera. Well, so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.